I'm going to show you how I got over 144 FPS on this low-end $200 laptop. This PC only has 6 gigs of RAM, a Ryzen 3 with integrated Vega 7 graphics, and I'm going to show you how to step-by-step -step tweak it so that you get over 144 FPS in creative with no stutter and even over 100 FPS with no stutter in the actual game. Just to prove you guys that this is actually being played on this laptop, I made an extra recording showing you that this is the laptop which we are playing on right now. This is going to help you out on any low-end PC, so therefore let's go. And all the tweaks are in my latest FPS boost pack, which you can get from my official website, guys. The link to it is in the video description. It's going to be here at the beginning of the feed, guys, of the latest packs. Also, maybe down below here. Or if you're struggling with finding it, you can just simply type in exactly the name of the pack which you're searching, which is the same name as the video title, and then you can find it. And once you get the pack on your PC, guys, you can see there's a bunch of files in there. The first one is stretch resolutions. And in there, you have a bunch of game user settings already modified for maximum FPS and with a stretch resolution applied. If you want to apply it, just simply copy it, go into your search bar, Type in that presenter, temp presenter, click on local, find Fortnite game, save, config, Windows clan, and there you can see your game user settings, just simply delete them and replace them now with the ones from the folder. You can also open it up real quick and just double check if the resolution is actually successfully applied, you can see guys, 768 times 480. So therefore you are chilling here, guys. It's very, very easy and you can go through all these stretch resolutions and just try them out yourself. Of course, the lower it is, the more FPS you're gonna get, but maybe you find a sweet spot for good performance and good visuals. Next up, we have the clean PC tool, guys. This one you gotta open as administrator, super important, just right click onto it. You know, the longer you have your windows, the more it's basically trashed up with memory dump files or temporary files and all of that. But what you wanna do is first of all, delete temporary files just simply type in that one and press on enter it's going to delete all of the temporary data on your pc which are slowing it down next up also super important are prefetch files just simply type in that four and press on enter again and next up we also have windows delivery optimization files these you also want to clear up once in a while and finally direct shader cache super important before any new fortnite season basically you want to make sure that you once delete your direct shader cache because if that one is interrupted or just doesn't work properly with the new fortnite season you actually want to delete it please guys remember if you delete your direct shader cache it's gonna need at least one or two full games for it to be fully loaded i just real quick want to showcase you guys that of course all of my files are safe guys i made this tool completely myself i just simply want to prove it real quick in this tool is nothing wrong i completely coded it myself guys and you can easily launch it on your pc next up we have a low performance visuals registry tweak which as the name already says basically gives you performance visuals on your windows pc that one is also super easy i made this registry tweak myself as well you can open it up and see guys it just changes basically visuals on your PC. Like all these fancy animations are pretty hardware demanding, so therefore just let me deactivate them with running this registry key. And then finally, guys, we have registry tweaks. And then now we have the low processes tool, guys, and this one I also made completely myself. We're basically deactivating a bunch of services which you don't need on your Windows PC. They're super unnecessary. There's a detailed description of every single process which gets deactivated. Just simply type in that one to apply all the tweaks. And what's also a cool feature is after you're done and you open up the tool again, you can also revert all of these steps. This is actually what I had in mind when I was coding this tool, guys, so that you always have a revert button if you feel like, okay, I maybe deactivated something which I do need, maybe something like Windows Search or some stuff like that, or some other major stuff, you can always, again, revert it. But for me, these are all processes which I have across all my machines fully disabled, and these are going to boost your FPS by so much. First of all, guys, type performance into your Windows Search button, open up it just for best performance, click on advanced and follow up. We're gonna go under virtual memory, Make sure that you uncheck everything, click under custom. And now for initial size, guys, you gotta check how much RAM you have on your PC. This is super important. For me, it's 5.9. For you, it might be 8, 16, whatever. Remember that number because now you gotta multiply it with 1024 because one gig is 1024 mbit. So for me, it's 5.9 times 1024, which is 6041, which I'm going to paste into initial. And for maximum, you just simply gotta take it times two, guys. As mentioned, for you, it could be eight or 16, whatever. Just simply go with the RAM which you have and put double of it for maximum. Click under set, click under OK, and now you successfully set up your virtual memory and just simply restart your PC. If you applied all of these steps, guys, I would highly recommend you to actually check out my latest videos where I show you how to get lower ping if you're struggling with that, or also how pros are boosting the FPS where I show you additional methods. So therefore, make sure to check it out since I, of course, cannot put everything into one video. It would be way too long and I would highly appreciate a sub.